who joined a mermaid-inspired workout class and tapped into her inner mermaid. Now, whether you're looking for something new to try or want to challenge yourself with a different type of workout, this could be an exciting way to get active and stay fit while having fun. Mermaiding. The artistic swimming activity in which people wear mermaid fins and tails is gaining popularity in South Africa. This latest fitness trend is inspired by the movements of the mermaid where the body rolls into your swimming routine to help you propel forward. Sounds simple, doesn't it? Well, it's not. Either way, we are trying it out this spring season. This is a fabric tail and inside there's a rubber monofin. Mermaiding is a fitness technique. It's like um, rather than going to the gym lifting weights, you're rather going to swim in a beautiful mermaid tail. It involves different swimming techniques. There's lots of sculling. There's tricks like backflips and handstands. It really works the whole body. And it's also becoming a very popular sport worldwide. It's a little bit harder work. Swimming with your legs together require quite your whole body, all the muscles in your body. You have to make this undulating movement with your whole body. Whereas in aqua fitness, we might be, um, it's like aerobics in the water. You're really just standing in one place um, or moving a little bit to the side. Whereas in mermaiding, we use the whole pool and merfit or mermaid fitness. So, did you hear that? Now I'm worried. You are telling me that it's much more difficult because your fit are together, right? So, if I do not know how to swim, can I just come here and just learn how to manage? So, we do, you do need to be able to swim first. However, if you just wanted to have a mermaid experience and you can't swim, we can help you. But we're just going to do it here in the shallow end. We're going to do basic swimming techniques and take you through it slowly. We'll start without the tail first and make sure that you get the technique down first, get you to swim in the monofin first, and then work you up to swimming with the tail. It's fun, it's like therapy, the water is very healing. Um, it's really good for people that have back pain, it's helped my back a lot, makes your back uh, very strong. Um, even people that are pregnant, of course you have to be able to swim already. Um, it's very relaxing, um, it's very calming, it feels like therapy. I've also seen people recovering from COVID, it really um, helps them with their lung capacity and getting their lungs healthy again. Um, but of course, like always, you must always ask your doctor first. Um, so what we're going to be doing today, first of all, I'm going to show you the mermaid swimming technique or dolphin kick, facing with your body down. We can also turn it on our back, so we face the ceiling swimming on our back. We can swim on our side. We're going to do some sculling to work our forearms and our upper body. Um, and then we're going to do some tricks and just have some fun. Here's the thing, there's also a spiritual angle to mermaiding. Some people who have been doing this for long swear by the healing power and regenerative energy it creates. You get to relax and touch the inner you and you get to be in sync and discover your inner you that when I'm flinching like this, it's that. When it's this, it's that. And you understand your own body. We live in a buzzing city, China is within a buzzing city, and um, at some point there is so less of nature around us, so this is the closest you can be to nature, and nature and mental health. I'm certain we've all experienced the magic of mermaids through movies and books, but who becomes a mermaid? What inspires them? What do they do? So the one thing is being a mermaid is you have to look pretty. And the one thing that I've struggled with is that you have air that you want to breathe and you make a bubble face, so you pop up your cheeks. And it didn't look great, so I had to figure out how to smile underwater. You need to look effortless. And you have to fake it until you make it. I had a major horse riding accident where I had landed on a jump with my lower back and I could run like long distances and stuff like that. And then when I decided to do mermaiding, I found out with the movement that it actually helped my lower back problems. As much as I clumsily tried not to sink while practicing my cramp release, mindfulness and that post-swim endorphin rush made it all worth it. And now for a teaser of the good times to come this spring season, here's Eve.